Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you how to create virtual keys for your touchscreen games, whether that's for an Android phone or iPhone, iPad, this will all work the same. Okay, so I've set up a basic platformer kind of game here. Um, all you can do is jump, but that's enough to put you on the right track with virtual keys. Okay, so this is the game on Windows, and all you can do is jump. So we're going to make that possible on a Android phone, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so up here I've created a sprite called SPR Key Jump, and it's pretty much just an arrow that points up with a transparent uh, grey fill on it. So yeah, it's just a really simple key sprite. Okay, so. Um, once you've got your key sprite created, just create a new object and name it with the same name that OBJ instead of SPR. So I'm naming mine OBJ key jump. And then I'm just going to give it my sprite. And now we can get onto the coding. Okay, so you add an event, uh, create event, and then drag in a code block. Okay, so what you want to do is type in key equals it doesn't have to be key, it can be whatever you want I'm just using that because it's nice and simple right, so key equals virtual key add and what this function does is it adds a virtual key uh, using the arguments you give it and saves that key's um, ID value to our variable key so that way you can delete it or draw it later um, with the other virtual key functions. Okay, now for the X and Y values, when you create virtual keys, you want to start at the top left and go down to the bottom right. So it's a bit like drawing a box if you've ever done that before. Okay, now because my um, key sprite is centered, I have to take away some of the X. So, to make it easier when setting up your room, I'm going to do x minus 32, which is half my sprite width, and y minus 32, which is half my sprite white. Ah, uh, sorry, not white. Um, half my sprite height. Okay. So, what that does is instead of having the top left of this virtual key in the center of the sprite, it'll move it out to where the top left um, of the sprite is. Okay, so then you've got W and H, that just stands for width and height. So my sprite width is 64, and sprite height is 64 as well. And those are our box coordinates, and then we just give it our key code. And to do that, it's as simple as writing in VK space, which is the same one that I use to make my player jump. Okay, so that's your virtual key, that's it for creating virtual keys. You just make an object and give it that. And that is it. It's ready to place in your room. Now I'll just quickly show you what the player is doing so you can understand what's going on. So that's just basic gravity stuff. Um, we don't need to worry about that. Just here you've got if keyboard check VK space and place meeting X, Y plus 1 object ground V speed equals minus 10. And this here is my jump code. So, as you saw in the virtual key, I set the key code to VK space. Now, I did that because in here, when I'm jumping, I'm checking for the space key being pressed. So, that's how the virtual keys work. It's like placing a keyboard button on the screen for the player to use. But, in this case, I just didn't write VK space on it. But, yeah, so... I'll run this on my Android phone and I'll just record this on my video camera and I'll switch over to that and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so as you can see, that's how you create virtual keys. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, if that was a little too brief and there's still something you don't understand, just 
uh, comment any questions that you have. If you have any requests for other tutorials, just uh, send me a message either through YouTube or Facebook. Uh, the Facebook page will be linked in the description. Um, yeah, I hope this helped you out, and see you guys next time.